Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. This is part two of Amazon top 50 interview question and answers. If you have not checked out the part one, I request you to kindly do so to gain valuable information and knowledge. These tutorial interview question and answers will help you crack any AWS interview you are attending. During the course of this tutorial, if you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with Amazon top 50 interview question and answers part two. So the first question is, what is SQS? So simple queue service is also known as SQS, which is used as distributed queuing service, which acts as a mediator between two controllers. So this is similar to any other queuing system you would have used like RabbitMQ or ActiveMQ. How many subnets you can configure per VPC? So we can configure up to 200 subnets per VPC. DNS and load balancer service comes under which type of cloud service? So DNS and load balancer, this comes under IaaS, which is infrastructure as a service storage cloud service. What is the role of AWS CloudTrail? So CloudTrail is a specially designed tool for logging and tracking API calls. It helps us audit all the S3 bucket accesses. When was EC2 launched? It was launched in the year 2006, 2006. What is simple DB? So simple DB is a data repository of structured record which encourages data doubts and indexing both S3 and EC2. That's called as simple DB. Explain Amazon Elastic Cache. So Amazon Elastic Cache is a web service which makes it easy to deploy, scale and store data in the cloud. What is AWS Lambda? So Lambda Functions is, a, is an Amazon compute service which allows us to run code in the AWS cloud without managing servers. We can write the AWS Lambda code in any language, Python, Node, etc. Name the types of AMI, AMIs provided by AWS. So different types of AMIs provided by AWS are Instance Store Bagged and EBS Bagged. Name the AWS service exists only to redundantly cache data and image, images. So AWS Edge Locations are services which will redundantly cache data and images. Explain Geo Restrictions in CloudFront. A Geo Restriction feature helps you prevent users of specific geographic location from accessing content which you are distributing through a CloudFront web distribution. So you can put this restriction and make sure certain region doesn't access this data. What is Amazon EMR? EMR is a survived cluster stage which helps you to interpret the working of data structures before the intimation. Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark on the web AWS helps you to investigate a large amount of data. You can prepare data for the analytics goals and marketing intellect workloads using Apache Hive and other relevant open source designs. What is boot time taken for the instance stored back AMI? So the, the boot time for an Amazon instance stored back AMI is less than five minutes. Do you need an internet gateway to use pairing connections? Yes, the internet gateway is needed to use VPC, which is virtual private cloud pairing connections. How to connect EBS volume to multiple instances? We can't be able to connect to EBS volume to multiple instances. Although you can connect various EBC volumes to a single instance. 
list different types of cloud services. So different types of cloud services that are available are software as a service, data as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. State the difference between an instance and an AMI. AMI is a template consisting of software configuration part. For example, operating systems, applications, application server, if you start an instance, a duplicate of an AMI in a row as an attendant in the cloud. So this is the main difference. So AMI is a configuration piece where you have and you can have multiple instances in the AMI. What are the different types of load balancers available in AWS service? So the different types of load balancers are application load balancer and classic load balancer. So these are the two different types of load balancers available in AWS. In which situation you will select provisioned IOPS over standard RDS storage? You should select provisioned IOPS storage over standard RDS storage if you want to perform batch related workloads. What are the important features of Amazon Cloud Search? Some of the important features of Amazon Cloud Search are Boolean searches, prefix searches, range searches, entire text search, and autocomplete advice. So these are the different uh, features that are available in Amazon Cloud Search. Can vertically scaling is allowed in Amazon instance? Yes, you can vertically estimate one Amazon instance. What is the use of lifecycle hooks in auto scaling? So lifecycle hooks are used for auto scaling to put an additional wait time to a scale, scale in or a scale out event. Explain what are the different layers of cloud architecture explained in AWS training. So there are different layers of cloud architecture, cloud controller, cluster controller, storage controller, and node controllers. What are the storage classes available in Amazon S3? So we have Amazon S3 standard, standard infrequent access, Amazon S3 re reduced redundancy storage, and Amazon Glacier. Name some of the DB engines that can be used in AWS RDS. So we can easily use MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle DB, Postgres, and MS SQL DB. All right, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial series. This was top 50 interview question and answers on AWS, Amazon AWS. And I hope you like this series. Please give a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to ask me your queries in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to keep encouraging and supporting me. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode. Thank you.